Let's see if I can pour it in without a funnel. All right. Have a good one. All right, so we got our coolant. We ain't gotta worry so much now. Well, we still gotta worry, but, because now we're gonna see if it's leaking. Because if it's leaking, that's even worse. Yeah, you see down in there? Dry as anything. There's nothing in there. I mean, the contrast is horrible, but there's nothing, it's dry. Absolutely dry. All right, we're gonna attempt to pour without a funnel. This is gonna end really badly, I can tell already. This stuff is clear. I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing, but we're gonna find out in just a minute. Splashed a little on the side there, but we got this. Look at that, no funnel pour. Well, that kind of f***ing sucks. Excuse my language, YouTube, but... It would appear as I have a leak. A mass leak. That's joyful. But where in hell is it leaking from? Oh, the engine's already up to temp. Let's see if we can get some of this air out. Ugh. Oil temp is coming back up. Let's go over to coolant. Just trying to get it to suck down some of that coolant. Well, we're gonna empty the rest of this gallon in there. All right, so we used most of that. As you can see, one quart left. And we are right at about the fill line. It's hard to see because this thing is a little dirty, but that's the fill line. That down there is the ad line, and we're just under the fill. So we're going to ride around a little bit, see if that drops down a little bit, and uh, catch you back probably at the house because it's freezing. So we're back at the house now. We drove around for a little bit just to make sure everything was playing out all right, and it seems like it's all good. coolant tank is still that's if this was actually at 210 degrees right now my hand would not be able to just sit here that tank is cool to the touch so I have a feeling that uh, either something with the water pump or we're just not circulating she smells hot like like hotter than she should be We're going to let her cool down a bit. Probably be a good idea to go around and check the rest of my fluids. That's not the proper way to check it, but I'm just I'm just preliminary checking. Could use some trans fluid. 
I'll double check the oil later on when she cools down. It's on there all the way. I don't know how I feel about these shrouds. They just kind of look ugly. But probably just going to end the video there. I mean, this is uh, honestly just a little test. I don't really do car vlogs. Man, she's dirty. She's got to get cleaned. I don't really do car vlogs, but who knows? I might after this. This is uh, not too bad. So until uh, then, we'll catch you next time. So here we are. It's uh, almost 8.30. As you can tell by the steam coming off here, it's pretty cold out. And uh, what we're doing here is we removed half of the air box to get closer to the throttle body where the bleeder valve is supposed to be. And right now I'm just trying to put this thing back in and fire it up and see if she's fine even though I know she's not. The purpose of taking this out is supposed to bleed the air and fill the radiator up and I got some bubbles going but I don't know, I feel like it's still not enough. The reservoir is still full, none of that. Actually, mm, some drained out, but most of it has not. The amount that I put in there is still the same as before when I put it in early on in the video. We're gonna just snug it down. Oh, God. Last thing we want is some leaks coming out of here. All right, it's nice and snug. You can see we got a little bit on the belt, which might screw us up in a minute, trying to drive around or anything like that. Ugh, that's my own stupid fault. I tried, I tried. Listen guys, I tried. I had this sitting right here, ready to catch anything that came out. I wasn't ready. Too much, too much. Yeah, it's all over the belt. And the pulley. No. The only way to get that off is just running it. Alright, let's uh put the radiator cap back on real quick. I'm just gonna fire it up real quick. Probably gonna give me a code saying mass airflow sensor not detected because I unplugged it. <laughs> yep, we got a check engine light because the mass airflow sensor is unplugged currently. And it's in the air and I had to take that thing out just to get there. Reservoir is still full. It smells nasty under here. I love how there's no more ability to just play around with the throttle body. Hose still feels empty, which is fairly annoying because it started puking out of there, so there should be coolant in it. But this actually. Uh, it's, it's getting there. I mean, the engine's already at temp, so it, it shouldn't be an issue. Keyword, shouldn't. Oh, I was in the right screen anyway. Coolant 188, oil 150, pressure 49.
my lord. This is a fun project. Not really. Still hasn't dropped much. Feels like there might be some in there now, but... You see that, right? It's just... It's just doing one of these. Somebody drop it in the comments if that's normal. Because if I got a bad pulley somewhere, that's going to be a pain in the to pull all this out to replace a pulley. Jeez. Well, at least when I get my Mechman alternator, it'll be super easy to replace that. Super easy being relative, because I'll probably have to drain the coolant system and pull this hose off first. Because there's no way I'm pulling it out to the bottom. Ladies... Let us shut her down. Shut her down for a second. We're gonna put everything back together. I'll catch back up with you in just a second here. Alright, so we got that buttoned back up on there. Everything's tightened back down. That, whatever you want to call it, air filter. Why am I zoomed in? whatever you call this portion of the air filter thing. This is the air filter, that's the, I don't know what the f*** that is, but let's hop back inside, make sure I don't have the engine light still. Give it another second, and that check engine light is still on. But she's plugged in, so why is it still on? That's on there. It's on. Yeah, it's on. Coolant is still too high. All right, so what do you guys think this could be? Could it be the thermostat? Could it be a clog in the line? I seen a video of a 2014 that had gunk in the reservoir, in the, not the reservoir, in the radiator cap, under the radiator cap. And if I could assume, like on my Malibu, when I was in dummy and just mixed coolants together, that's probably because somebody mixed coolant in that before he owned it. I pulled the radiator cap off. No gunk in there. It looks nice and clean. It's just empty. There's nothing in the radiator. And I filled it up and I had some coolant coming out of that little peephole. And I mean, temps are still high should not I mean oil temp is fine but after driving around it gets to be about the same so, actually it's coming down now which hopefully it's finally taking some in ah she's going down maybe I'm feeling better am I I'm feeling better that it's going down, but I'm still annoyed that my check engine light is still on. It's probably because it needs to have me drive around and reset the system for the proper, what is it, AFVs, AFRs, 
Yeah, see now that's, that's hot. That's full of cool. Reservoir is still full. slightly frustrating and it's back up to 103 203 what am I saying and oil's catching up too see if I spin her up a little bit I bet you it goes back down she's at temp yeah see I rev her up a little bit the water pump starts moving it around a little bit more but the thing is, is there's still air in there somewhere. So it's coming back down, but it's not staying down. And now it's back at 201. Oil temp sitting nice at 170, 174. Oh, this is joyful. Well, ooh, that's bright. We're gonna cut the video here tonight. If any of you guys know about the WK2s, please leave some information down in the comments or follow me on Instagram, MarkyMark247. Um, any advice is greatly appreciated because this is the first Chrysler vehicle I've owned. Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, it's, it's all the same stuff. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. So, just to recap, it's the next day, and it was hard for you guys to see in the video yesterday. If you can see now, the level is now down from when we added. So, should have gotten all the air out of the system then. We're gonna just top it off, get it up to the rest of that fill line there. And she should be reading nice good temps around 180, 190. So, that's not gonna work. I did it yesterday with no photo, we can do it again today. I have faith. No, we're not getting it done again with a photo. Yeah, it's not And that brings us just under the full line which is perfect. So, I think we figured it out for that project. I think we will call it done for this video. So, thanks for watching guys. Catch you in the next one.